piece of it when it's about I don't know, let me see. Six eighteen in the morning. Just came out of my affirmations. And I'm headed to the gym right now. I do some homeschooling for the girls and I got a little bit of my business work to do, get that out of the way, and then I'm gonna get over to one of my elders. I wanna check on him. I um love the fact that I am in alignment with source, with spirit, with the universe, with my guides. Because especially during these times, you have to check on your elders, check on your seniors, take care of your children, your pets, and most importantly yourself. And when you do that, you'll know that when your instincts are telling you something, then you must go with your instincts. Especially when we've gone our whole life and we've been so disappointed by trusting the words of people that the only true guide that we have is our inner self. And when our inner self leads us and guides us in a certain direction, we must go with that flow. So I'm going to trust my instincts and head over and check on one of my elders today. And um, I just had this feeling and usually my gut instincts are right about certain things so I pulled some cards and it was interesting because one of the cards that I pulled was the judgment card and then one of my five tribe pointed out the, the judgment cards that I pulled because I pulled five cards and one of the cards that she pointed out was a judgment card so I have the I have a book and I was reading about basically all the affirmations of the judgment card so then when I asked for a clarification of the judgment card, I pulled another card. That's what card I pulled. The death card. So, there's a wave that is happening right now. And this wave, this wave was spoken of through spirit that is happening on the planet. It's just that time. So, when you trust your instincts, when you trust your guides, you'll be given clues and keys and you'll be prepared. Your guides will prepare you for any sudden events. Let's just say that these are one of those sudden events. Stay in divine alignment with your guides, your angels, your ancestors, your way showers, and most importantly yourself and your intuitions, the majority of the time, will be right on point. Anyways, just wanted to share. Head to the gym. See you guys in there. Peace. Alright, off to the gym I go, y'all. See you down there. Peace. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Not right now. Oh, well. In a second, just right now. Not right now. It's early. It's all good. Well, early bird catches a worm. Gotta go piece by. I'll do this in here right now.
Jeez. I just realized I just deleted my material that I had this morning. It's in there on the bike. And realized I deleted my good morning world. It's like 5, 10 a.m. when I woke up. Anyways, just checking out the little conference room area. Trying to see what I can do in here. Cool little space not to be utilized, eh? Let's see what I can do in here. That'd be pretty cool to have some, like, women night in here and stuff. You know, some goddess glows up in here. You know, just start small. See what's up. After all, we are in Chicago, downtown. It's not like I gotta rent out the Marriott for the night. Or the Hyatt. Or the Hilton. Just come right downstairs. Anyways, let me take my butt upstairs. Just checking it out around here. But first, let me hit up the sauna room. Let's do that first. And then, we shall call it a morning, folks. We shall call it a morning. But then again, why do they call it morning? What are you morning about? This is why I don't say good morning. We say good day, world. So, good day, world. Gosh, wish I had on my swimsuit. I'd have it right now. It looks so good. <sighs> Jeez, let's do this steam room. Smells very minty in there. I can already tell. It's gonna be a very interesting day. I'm gonna make the best of it no matter what. Anyways, let me dry off. Goodbye, Miss Jusana and Miss Steam Room. See you tomorrow. Oh, and I'll see you later. All right. Now, I have to pin out oh, my Vibe Tribe's homework. So, <sighs> let's get going with that. Okay, so let's see what's up. But perfecting the time. Because she can do a little better than this. Come on, worksheet. Oh, jeez, I'm not filling this out. Alright. Back. on some skills today. There we go. Let's do change okay let's do some reading comprehension some visuals of some cursive writing. You know, they said they don't even teach cursive in school anymore. It's pretty deep. Do some timetables. 
course. And of course, let's get these word problem worksheets in. I usually get out baby girls worksheets, put them together, homework at the beginning of, beginning of the week, and um, then do her reading and her extra science curriculums outside of the worksheets. So just an idea of what I have to sit here and do in the morning on Monday mornings. But it's all good. I gotta get it in, right? Just sharing. deep around here today it smells so good out here anyways I'm gonna head out in a bit so um nothing magical just stepped out here to see if I can try to say something to y'all but nothing really to say other than enjoy your day and see you very soon gotta go peace back my location so pretty outside guys look high park chicken girl anyways headed across the street checking on one of our elders like I told you guys a wood nothing spectacular happening just doing what I do anyways see you guys in a minute gotta go peace bye mom check out this store Oh, this is a 
Coco was telling you guys about how you can make your chocolate. I'll get that. I'm not gonna get that now, but just sharing. school supply stuff that's needed. Mm. The girls are in this comic store they want to check out. So we are going to check it out guys. Pretty cool, right? Great. I know. It's not it's a great display. No, this right here is Superman. This is Superman. And yeah. also that's and then Superman. This, this is Starfire, the best alien ever. I love Starfire. Starfire, the best alien ever. Really? Mm -hmm. And I think this is how it's pretty deep. No, that's in the frost. Gosh. <laughs> People my faces. Good, how are you? <laughs> Infinity. <laughs> yeah. What is your story? Have you guys got this? What is that? This is um. This is um. This is what's your name? Starfire. Starfire. Okay, how do you want that? You don't even know the name of it. Exactly. This is Starfire. You only want it because I want it. Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds like something that you had her pick up. This is no. Starfire from Robin. No, Starfire from the Teen Titans. Why don't you get one that you like? It seems like you got one that your sister wanted you to get. I didn't, I didn't tell her to pick that up, she picked that up on her own. You sure that's the one you want? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. She got Spider-Man up there. Pretty cool. Here, look at that. Yeah, and you know these are left, right? So don't. Yeah. <laughs> and wash your hands. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the button. Okay, everyone, this concludes another epic episode of The House of L. It's been a very interesting day, and there's a lot of energies coming through right now. Most importantly, I realized that I had a little bit more clearing to do. Actually, a lot more clearing to do. This is why we're still on this planet, because we're forever learning and learning about ourselves. But most importantly, learning to love ourselves and to purge the things that are within us that we didn't know that we buried for so long. We have the tendency to look for that love and that expectancy in someone else. 
But truth be told, we're here to learn to love ourselves. When we learn to love ourselves, we can give back that love to the entire world. And this is where we're all at, learning to love ourselves. So as we learn to love, we learn that we're purging. As we purge, we learn that we're growing. As we're growing, we're expanding. We are in a space of divine evolution. Anyways, just thought I'd share. Have a good night, everyone.